and I don't know if my thing's recorded yet because all right well in case it didn't what's going on everybody K Kim here and uh, today I've got more of a serious video so uh, I just woke up after a nice long after school nap and I kind of had this idea because I'm the kind of person who I like I'm very social I like talking and I like getting to know lots of people so um you know I noticed that I do like watching like professional players when they tell their life stories and stuff like that they talk about like something that happened maybe in their life oh geez my aim is awful right now but uh maybe they talk about something that happened in their life you know i i enjoy that stuff so i was, i figured you know maybe some people might enjoy some of my life stories and maybe they could even relate to some of them so uh, i decided to start this new series and <clears throat> i'm gonna call it just i guess story time uh until i find out more of a clever name for it i guess that's just what i'm gonna call it so, um, I guess for episode one today, I'm just going to talk about, um, like, having to deal with, like, people figuring out that I played video games competitively and that I made videos on YouTube because, uh, honestly, that's one of the toughest things. If you go to, like, high school still and you play video games competitively or you make videos on YouTube, it's very tough to, like, try and hide that from people because... You can't follow them on Twitter because then they'll know there. And you can't really, like, talk about anything. So it's really tough to hide it from people. And, you know, maybe you'll be on your Twitter at school and they might come over and take your phone. And you know, right there, it's pretty much, like, tough to explain. So um, my aim is terrible right now. I don't know what it is. Um, but anyways, um, my first story is probably, like, talking about my parents and this wasn't that bad because obviously they were my parents are gonna love me no matter what and um that was just pretty much you know kind of like introducing them telling them all about it they still don't really like believe in me to this day i mean they somewhat support me and like i mean they support me like they don't like they're not like constantly telling me you're not gonna make it and they're like they're not like well why would i buy you this if you're never gonna use it so uh, they do support me. I'm, they don't not support me, but um, they don't really like think that I can make a career out of video games. So they kind of doubt that that's actually possible is what I'm trying to say. And so I've got, you know, it's not that easy. And it's, it'd be a lot easier if you had parents that were like 100% supportive. They'd buy you Astros and cinches and scuffs and stuff like that. And... They let you play all the time because my dad thinks I play way too much video games. And so I have to tell him, you know, it's really not that much. As long as I'm maintaining a social life, I'm getting good grades. What's the problem? And so I kind of have had, had that. I kind of have had to have that talk with him a couple of times. And, um, you know, I kind of helped that, kind of helped that out. So uh, if you're trying to get, like, your parents into that, you know, maybe, like, sit them down and actually explain to them a little bit more about what it is and not just, like, I like doing this. this is what I'm going to do as a living and I don't care if you think that I can't because I'm going to they're not going to support you if you come out like that you have to come out and like actually explain it to them so they understand because parents really don't understand because like with all the technology and obviously most video or most gamers like people that just play casually they don't even understand like how big competitive has gotten over the past couple of years they just think that it's like some weird people that just play video games that are supposed to be for fun that you play them competitively um and they don't realize that like black ops 2 is really like where it started to uh, and in just increase a lot so with black ops 2 the competitive um kind of the competitive curve it started to go dramatically upward or dramatically like the viewership started to dramatically increase the community just started to like go up in numbers now you've got like just a couple hundred thousand in the call of duty community which is insane and so i mean people really don't understand that it's getting to be big and it's they're the people that play call of duty professionally they're actually pretty much starting to be considered professionals there's scholarships being handed out to colleges uh, colleges are handing handing out scholarships for gaming now and it's just <laughs> pretty interesting to you know just look at the growth of it but you know maybe use those points to help your parents understand that uh, you can make it, and, you know, maybe it's not good for you to play, like, 24 hours every day. 
I mean, obviously, you still want to kind of enjoy your high school life while you have it, like hang out with friends, um, maybe find friends that enjoy playing video games as well, so you can play with them if you, you know, if you're ever bored. Um, so all those things can help you out just by, you know, just on the parent side of things. And now this is where I actually like can tell a story. So um, I know this is going to run really long and this is going to be probably like a 15 minute video at least. Um, but anyways, I am currently a sophomore in high school and um, I think last year was the first time anybody ever like discovered that. I played video games and I made videos on YouTube and I streamed. And so um I do have like those couple of friends that I um I do have those couple of friends that you know they know I play video games and I'm okay with them knowing, but there's also like, you know, it's kind of awkward if you're trying to talk to a hot girl and you're becoming friends with them and then all of a sudden some person brings like starts talking about they find your YouTube channel, and that's kind of what happened with me. And thankfully, the girl turned out to be a total mess up in her life, but it could have been much worse. So, so anyways, this happened freshman year. The best math class ever. Like, there's a whole bunch of funny people in it, and I had a couple of friends in there, and I made a bunch more friends in there. And it was just overall a really fun class. The teacher was amazing, and I'm just, like, really happy to have ever had that class, to be honest. Um, but... This happened probably like around quarter, probably like the beginning of quarter four, I'd say. So, um, we were just kind of hanging around and, uh, you know, beginning of class, I'm chilling out with this hot girl. She's, um, you know, we were friends. We talked a lot. We talked pretty much every day and, you know, I'd act like I'd hit on her and, you know, we, we were pretty much friends at the time. So... Um, then the next, um, and this one person, he's like, he's really short and he walks in and he's like, I found your YouTube channel and I'm like, what YouTube channel? You know, I kind of tried to play it off. Like I didn't have one because obviously I don't want this hot girl knowing that I've got a YouTube channel and that I play video games competitively. Cause then she's going to think of me as a nerd, never going to want to talk to me again. And, you know, I was just kind of nervous about that whole situation as soon as he brought that up i was like oh no i'm screwed um so i was really in a bad situation then and then uh my friend who you know he's he's one of those normal friends like he's all um he's like he's one of those fun people like he's not one of the like he's one of the more popular people so uh, he comes in and like he hears about the youtube channel at that same time and he's like um Oh, Kyle's got a YouTube channel. Let's see it. Let's see it. And I was like, no, I really don't. And they pull up my YouTube channel and they start watching my videos. And, you know, I just kind of decided from then on just to play it off. And so the rest of the year was really kind of awkward. So I tried to bring it up. Like, I tried to keep it out of everybody's minds as much as possible because I didn't want people to know that I was a competitive Call of Duty player, that I make money off of this. I actually, that was my excuse because while they were making fun of me for playing video games and making money, my excuse is that, hey, I'm making money off of it. You can laugh all you want, but I'm getting the last laugh here. And so that was pretty much the way I got out of it. And so like anytime they bring it up, I'd kind of laugh. I'd, I might imitate my intro where I go like, what's up everybody, KKM here. And... You know, I kind of turned it into, I feel like I did a pretty good job of handling it because we maintained, we stayed friends for the whole year and we still probably would be friends, but she ended up becoming a drinker and a person who has like underage sex all the time and like just one of those party girls that, you know, it's kind of sad to see such a cool person ruin their life like that, but it does happen. So kind of unfortunate that happened because she was really cute and... Uh, she was pretty she was a pretty cool person. She was fun to talk to. I really enjoyed talking to her and it's kind of unfortunate that I don't talk to her anymore and that she's done all these things with her life or she's yeah, she's done all this all these things to her life and it's kind of sad and I do wish that I still talk to her, but I don't I don't have any classes with her this year. I did, but not anymore and so we don't really talk. We didn't even talk when we were in the same class because it wasn't like 
our math class last year and we were the only two from last year's math class that were in it so uh, things were you know th i kind of miss those times but it's whatever and so um the rest of the year yeah i just kind of like played it off and stuff and it was you know kind of okay and my best friends like i've got two really good friends they don't even know that i play video games so i'm, I'm pretty happy about that i'm gonna keep that a secret until i start like actually making a big you know maybe a couple thousand subscribers or so and i actually start winning wagers and playing in tournaments and i think you know then i might be able to bring up that because there are actually people that compete in like land tournaments at my school but i think it's for counter strike that they played in so yeah and they're they're considered nerds though so I mean, I don't really want to be considered one of the nerds. I've always considered myself one of the more social people, like one of the more popular people. And so when this girl found out, you know, I kind of was like, oh, crap, and really sad. And I guess the biggest point is you just have to play it off because with this girl knowing that I was, like, a video game nerd, I guess, um, it was kind of awkward because then like they had something they could make fun of me for and like i said thankfully this wasn't something that you know she'd figure out and then never like let me live it down and she'd constantly make fun of me for it thankfully you know it's kind of a good thing that it was her instead of maybe one of my really good friends and then they would have like probably i would have lost them and that would have really sucked and so you know i'm kind of thankful that it was it wasn't someone more important but i kind of wish it really wasn't her i kind of wish i would have talked to her more maybe i i don't know supposedly she did all that bad stuff back then but i really wish she didn't you know it kind of ruined her life and she probably i doubt she realizes it right now but it really did so i can't get a kill to save my life but i gotta get this so um you know, unfortunately things like that do happen people do mess up their lives and you have to deal with losing friends and stuff and that's pretty much all my first episode was about, and, um, you know, just the rest of the year, it was kind of normal, but it was just kind of weird knowing that all these people knew that I played video games. Then another thing happened today, and some nerd, some huge nerd that no one likes, came into the class, and he talked about, he's like, I saw you, I found your YouTube, and I was like, okay, cool. And then everybody was like, what's your YouTube? And then one of the most popular girls in the school was like, you got a YouTube, I want to see it, and fortunately she didn't find it and she quit looking once the teacher started, but anyways, you know, it can be really awkward, so if you guys can hide all that from school, that's great, but if you, like, if you're open about it, kudos to you, I cannot do that, there's no way I'd ever be able just to come out and be like, yeah, I play video games for money, I play in tournaments, I make videos on YouTube, and yeah, there's no way that anybody... Or like, there's no way I'd be able to be as popular as I am now. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, click the like button if you want to see more. Cause I I actually enjoy making videos like this where I actually talk about stuff and live comments and stuff like that. So click the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment if you have maybe anything you want me to talk about. Maybe anything I could help you out with. Uh, just pretty much what you want to see in my next videos. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. KCAM, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.